So I work for a company called Home Technology Singapore Private Limited. I'm the founder CEO of the company. What we're trying to do is something which is very innovative and it's a concept which has never been done before. And that's really what is very exciting to us. If there is one thing which is more exciting is the, the goodness or the purpose behind what we're trying to do. Think of the three to four billion people who use the internet every day. Have you ever wondered they're all called users? They call users because they are only actually users and they actually don't own anything on the internet. The internet has actually come to be owned by just three, four very large organizations. You wouldn't probably believe if I tell you that 99% of all the content on the internet is owned by just three large organizations in the world. And all of us are reduced to users of their products and services and their IP and their technology. So think of think of our own life today, you know, starting with Gmail to WhatsApp to LinkedIn to Twitter to Facebook to Snapchat to Instagram. These are all owned by large organizations and all of these millions of people go there and use their product and in the process you put all your data there you actually don't get to own anything on the internet and we think that that should change you know that's just disastrous or that's preposterous you can't have four billion people reduced to users and you know we believe the time has come for those people to rise up and actually start owning their own digital assets on the internet but the problem is that people don't have any place where they can keep their stuff and own it because all the place which is available on the internet is owned by large organizations so we're working on a product that would allow people to actually have their own legally owned small places on the internet and we are we are we are product positioning that as just the same way you have a physical home, right, which is something which you own, which is where you keep your private things in the physical world. We're saying that people should also have digital homes, which is legally owned by you in your, your domain, your server, and you keep your stuff there, you lock it up and nobody else can go and see it. It's your private place that you own on the internet. We, we are, you know, that's, that's our product. It's a digital home. That's why we're called home technology. Given that this is such an innovative concept, it's not something which has been done before. So it's been very hard uh, hard work to, to translate a product concept like this to a digital product which people can use. There has never been anything like that before. If I were to tell you today digital home, you can't possibly imagine how that will look like. You, you don't know whether it will have a roof, whether it will have rooms, it's a new concept. So my role has really been able to get the best of talent, whether it's about product designers or technology pro programmers to come together, architect a concept like this where each individual can actually own a small piece of his own place, call it call his digital home where nobody else can come in. You have have a physical home i can't come inside your home unless you invite me but you don't have a place like that that you can say is yours on the internet which i can't come in you know you can go write whatever on your facebook page i can go and see it internet is open and assume that i can't see it let's say your gmail box uh, i can't come in and see it but google can see it it's still not private you don't have a private place so my job is really to put it all together get the get the architecture get the technology get the design and get the product developed and get the marketing team to develop as a founder i sort of need to do everything one of the biggest challenges we have is to get people to understand or even to believe or take this leap of faith to understand that i can own a piece of the internet people do not know that right none of us actually have ever thought of actually owning something on the internet we just go and use, if you go to DigitalOcean's website, you use that. If you go to Facebook, you use that. If you go to Google, you use that. How about a consumer uh, to be able to go to DigitalOcean, sign up and take charge of a server and, and password protect that server, encrypt the data in it and use that server as his own personal space. Pay DigitalOcean for that and, and nobody else can go in there. And, and so DigitalOcean as a, as a cloud hosting service provider needs to understand that the opportunity lying there is not to go to 5,000 or 10,000 companies, but go to 2 billion people and get each one of them to actually own a piece of the internet. It's a massive opportunity on one hand, but it's also a massive challenge to get these people to make the leap of faith in terms of concept to understand that it's not a place that I go to which belongs to some other organization. It's my place where nobody else can come and see. And I keep all my photographs and all my digital assets there as my private asset, which I can hand down to somebody else. I can sell, I can, I can have privacy for the first time. People complain about not having privacy on the internet. How will you have privacy if you don't have your own place? You can tell Google not to give it to Cambridge Analytica, but at least Google will see your stuff and that's not private. 
So it's an innovative concept and the real challenge is to make uh, people understand and take this leap of faith and, and understand that you can actually own a piece of the internet uh, privately. One of the reasons is that DigitalOcean is a young and in a fast growing organization who's been very supportive and responsive to our needs. It's a new concept and so we've had to work closely with DigitalOcean to create this digital home, including the latest technology capabilities, whether it's you know introducing Kubernetes as one of the cloud host hosting service providers. Let me, let me take a step back and tell you an interesting thing. If today you have to own a server, there are a few ways in which you can do that. You can walk into a neighborhood computer shop, buy a server and take it home. Or you can go to a global cloud hosting service provider and sign up and buy a server online. 99% uh, of the people do not know that it is far safer to go to a professional hosting service provider and get a server which has got all the securities and you know uh, power supply temperature control it's all managed very well if you take your own personal server and take it home it's not safe the minute you connect it to the internet you could have viruses coming in and you don't have the right kind of firewall you don't have temperature protection you don't have uh, uh, uninterrupted power supply temperature control all of that at home so it's significantly safer and better to have it have your server hosted in a professionally managed environment and that's what DigitalOcean brings to the table. And as a, as a young uh, organization growing fast, DigitalOcean has been more responsive and uh, supportive to whatever we need. And that's essentially why we decided to work with DigitalOcean. You know, I, I'll tell you an interesting thing that happened with us uh, and DigitalOcean. The day we launched our first version of the product and we carried out a really small digital marketing campaign and consumers started to sign up. Uh, as it turned out, Home Technology has an account with DigitalOcean and we had child accounts for each consumer and the limit which we had is 2000. And our campaign went live at 7 o'clock in the evening. By 10 o'clock, we were looking at 1500 and we started to get worried because, hey, you know, once you hit the 2000, you can't create any more child accounts and, and home creation will begin to fail. Uh, by 11 o'clock, DigitalOcean people woke up, we called them, moved the limit from 2,000 to 5 for 5,000. And we said, okay, now we can go to sleep. Uh, but by by 12.31, we were hitting 4,500. And we said, we can't. I mean, you know, if, if the speed at which consumers are coming and building digital homes, uh, this could uh, this could cross the 5,000 limit as well. And we were in touch again at 2 o'clock in the morning. We were in touch with DigitalOcean team. And, and immediately that 5,000 lim limit went to 10,000. And by next day afternoon, that limit went to 20,000. And consumers were signing up at a really fast pace where, you know, it crossed 10,000, crossed 12,000. By the time it crossed 12,000, we said, you know, 15,000 is not enough. So that kind of response that, that you know, as a large organization, people in DigitalOcean could not only wake up in the night, but also reconfigure the systems to make sure that our limit is increased. That is a fabulous experience. And that's something which, you know, sticks out in my mind. We, we use DigitalOcean's droplets. Uh, to create individual consumers home and uh, use the Kubernetes capabilities that DigitalOcean has uh, or where we install our, our, our product and allow consumers to build this digital home in each droplet. And you know, we are talking about a thousand and, and a million and a hundred million digital you know, droplets possible. And that's, that's how we are using DigitalOcean.